so, I am a member of the and I am a member of the Republican and that was the right thing to do and that this was the right time to do it. And that's the position which I put to today's Ard Cordia meeting. And in response, the Ard Cordia have taken the historic and courageous decision to proceed to an extraordinary Ardesh on placing, despite the failure of the DUP to respond positively as they committed to do in the run up to the 29th of December Ard Cordia meeting. And if the Ardesh adopts the proposed motion, and that cannot be taken for granted, there will be a very full democratic debate within this party. But if the Ardesh adopts the proposed motion, then we will have the potential for the first time ever for full involvement by Irish Republicans in placing structures across this island. So the Ard Golia has decided to proceed with the planned Ardesh on January the 28th and on the basis of a motion agreed by us on December the 29th, minus, of course, the DUP contribution. And that motion commits Sinn Féin to support for the PSNI and criminal justice system, commits us to hold the police and criminal justice systems fully to account, both democratically and legally, commits us to appointing party representatives to the policing board and district policing partnership boards to secure fair and partial and defective policing with the community. It authorises Sinn Féin ministers to take the ministerial pledge of office and to actively, all of us, to actively encourage everyone in the community to cooperate fully with the police services across the island and tackling crime in all areas. The Art Colia will propose to the Ardesh that it adopts this motion and that it gives the Art Colia the responsibility and authority to fully implement all elements of it. The necessary context for this is the re-establishment of the political institutions and confirmation that policing and justice powers will be transferred to these institutions or when acceptable new partnership arrangements to implement the Good Friday Agreement are in place. Now, our view in all of this is that it would be entirely wrong to allow the most negative elements of unionism, any veto over Republican and nationalist efforts, any veto over democratic efforts to achieve the new beginning to policing promised in the Good Friday Agreement. Sinn Féin today have said very decisively that we will not be paralysed by rejectionist elements in the DUP. There are also those within the PSNI who are opposed to change. In this context, I have been made aware today of incidents in parts of South Derry, in Castle Derg and in County Armagh, where local PSNI units are involved in trying to destabilise nationalist and Republican communities in these areas. This, on one hand, is predictable, as they themselves see uh, change coming, but it has to be stopped, and our resolve is to get that stopped. What is our objective? Our objective is to get the PSNI to do what they are paid to do, that is, to be a proper policing service. Our job is to hold that policing service, once achieved, fully to account. We have already achieved enormous progress over a period of time on issues of democratic accountability, human rights protections and the ending of political and repressive policing. Over recent, recent days, we have also seen progress and changes on key issues like the removal of MI5 from local policing structures and on the use of plastic bullets. 
So I believe that if we can get all of this moving forward, that the new beginning to policing promised in the Good Friday Agreement is now attainable. Sinn Féin wants to get policing right, and the extraordinary RDS now called together is the important next step for Republicans. I can also want to say, and I said this last week, that I don't for one second underestimate the huge uh, step this is for Republicans. And I appreciate very much the destabilising effect since December 29th to now that the DUP uh, position had and even statements from the British Prime Minister had in, in all of this within Republican and nationalist uh, communities. We will, uh, kicking off from now, make this motion in its detail available to our own members. It's going to them as, as I speak by email. We'll go over the next day or two, I suppose, before it gets to all our common. We're also going to make it available to the media. We will commence an internal, and it's quite tight because we wanted a month of our run, and we now have two weeks, an internal consultation process with our own membership, a wider uh, process of consultation with those people who have been victims of bad policing, with the families of our Patriot dead, with veterans of our struggle, with campaigning groups, and so on. And then on top of that, myself and uh, Barbara de Bruyne and others will do a series of public meetings, town hall meetings, open to everyone from whatever background they come, and they run into the RDS so that everybody can have their say on this issue and how we progress from here. Could you be 